Welcome to TJ's Easy Guitar. Today I wanted to work on the Beatles. Hey Jude. Starts off with the capo on the first fret. Basically working with chords of an E major, trying to get to a B7. Some great ideas if you're a beginner. Um, you can just practice trying to lift finger one up. If you know how to play an E major chord, it's basically first fret, third string, first finger, and these two are on the second fret. Uh, five and four. Use the proper fingers. Two is above three. Fingers one, two, three, and four. Um, so to get to a B7, basically you just bring finger one up a string, finger three down a string, and try to drop your pinky into the bottom on fret two. So we literally have all three fingers. So that's a nice way to work it if you're still working out chords. So here we go. We got, and I'm going to do just four downs. There's going to be a few ups, but it starts off as. That's basically verse one and two. Now the cool thing is how how they come out of this verse two. They're on the E at the end. Um, I do have a chart here. I'll hold it up at the end of the video and explain how it all goes. It's pretty cool because we're coming off at the, the second verse. We did the E, the B7 two times, back to the E, and we're counting in fours. And you can see a lot of times I'm going one, two, three, and then on the change, this down up just before one two and three and four and a one so it's kind of and a one two three four and a one two three four and a one two three four then we get to the a At this point, we're doing the E for four strums down. One, two, three, and then it gets really heavy here. And three and four. And now here's the tricky part here, where we're trying to get these bass notes over the bridge. You can call it the chorus. Um, I'm calling it a bridge. It's just basically changing a lot here, uh, the keys and things. So we're on an A, we're coming off of this E last chord on the second verse. I'll go through this, I'll hold it up, you can take a screenshot and we'll talk about all my chart. Um, also if you could uh, hit the subscribe button and click on the notifications, click the little bell box so you get notified when I post more videos, that'd be great. Um, we appreciate all your support and um, yeah, I come in here every morning trying to build these charts and do more songs and get more tutorials out there. So anyways, we're on this E, one, two, on the second verse, and then we go to this E7. By taking finger three off the E major chord, we create this E7. And we hear this D string that really creates a lot of tension. One, two, three, four, and then we get this A, two, and a three, four, and a... So that can be tricky, because you got to get this finger three all the way up to you know, one, two, three, we'll call it the fourth fret, top string, but we get this A chord here, we get this, we hit the root note on the fifth string with our pick, one and two and a. So we really feel this progression because we're just doing a root note motion all the way down here, or bass notes all the way down, that's what's creating this change. Great exercise would be trying to get finger three to get to there. You can notice that my hand's not like this. Try not to play like that. You'll never get finger two there anyways. 
your best to deal with this and teach it how to you know sit properly on the guitar um, you should always have your wrist down I know it seems hard to get finger three up there but it's not really if you think about finger one pointing this way at you so that your wrist comes this way not so much that you can't reach but there is a fine line you still have to be able to get that the tip up there so I'm not way back I'm kind of about pivoted about center I'm not all the way this way all the way that way about center just enough so you, the tip of your finger can point directly at you or at your chin then you might be able to get up there that's a tough stretch if you're having a hard time with that stretch then maybe take finger three and just work it so that you know you're three frets apart and you're doing this all the way down the guitar and if you can get that to be really good which took me a little bit then challenge yourself and go one more fret and that will really help you get that stretch for that right and always keeping your wrist down don't do it like this so just some tips on how to get through things that you seem to not be able to do um, so that would really help get so start just with like one fret ahead always keep finger one down as you don't take a finger off because then you're not really stretching so finger one staying on while that goes down three staying on while one goes down one staying on while three goes down uh, one stay or three staying on while one goes down see how that works now we get that good same going up we don't take them off until the other one goes up then we can try to get this I was taught this from my teacher who you know Eddie Van Halen did a lot of this stuff so it's great for stretches but always leaving your fingers on together that's how, that's what creates the stretching so if you're having a hard time with these changes that's what I would suggest so from the bridge we start on the E7 and then we get to this A so it'd be like one and two and a three and four and a one. I kind of get finger two to come in over top of finger one on the top string for fret two like that. Pretty funky looking chord, but it works. One and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three. Then we open up the string. And every beat one through this progression, the A, we're hitting the, the bass note. So hitting the fifth string first, two, and uh, bringing finger three up, hitting the sixth string next. Still only strumming four, three, and two. You could strum the fifth with it. And then I'm bringing finger two to the top string, second fret, and getting this. And then off, and then we pick the top string again. Motion, it'd be one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three. So that was another way you could do it. You could try to bring these three in when you get there. So you get one and two and a three and four and a one. And that's the other way. Three and four and a. Now we're on our E and we got to get to this B7. One and two. Then we get back to the verse. Two and three and four and one. So the whole bridge, starting from the E7, I'm gonna come out of the E from verse two. So when you see the chart, you'll be here coming out of verse two, going into there. Cause it's kind of like a buildup. So I'm on the E. verse 
So verse uh, 3 is the same as verse 1. Then we go back to the bridge, the one that we just talked about. And then we do another verse, which is the same as verse 1. And then the ending. So say we're coming out of verse 1 and we're trying to end it. Um, basically, we get this. Uh, Alright, I hope that tutorial will help you get through this song that's quite the change trying to manage these, but they're used in a lot of songs, so I would try to learn that. I know it takes a bit, I, I get it, it took me a long time too, I had to really work hard, but my hands, as you work with them, they learn to stretch, build strength, and all of a sudden things start happening. It's like anything, it's not just gonna happen overnight. Here's my chart, here's my good chart, so we'll talk a bit about that right now. Um, basically starts off here on the top, and you can see we need a capo on the first fret, comes down to the verse one, verse two, into our bridge, back to verse one for verse three, back to bridge, back to verse one for um, the fourth verse, it's just the same. And then we end on this with our our uh, progression here. All right, and that just repeats right to the end and singing and rocking out and getting the whole crowd going. All right, so I hope that tutorial helps you for Hey Jude by the Beatles. We'll see you again soon. If there's any songs or charts that you want me to do, let me know, leave me some comments. Have a great day, bye for now.